the second largest polluter in the world, second to oil. There is a business model in place that can work for the fashion industry. And here, we're here today to watch the two of the fashion, which is a documentary made by Andrew Morgan, which is going to both inform and collect the for 50 people, various influencers, and strategic board advisors that we're going to have on board for India, and discuss the way forward. in Bangladesh there was a factory collapse, one of the biggest industrial disasters in the world. 1,134 people died. We believe that's too much death on one day due to the fashion industry. It's not the first time it's happened, it's happened multiple times around the world and it continues to happen. In Ghaziabad just 10 days ago I believe, 12 people died in a factory fire. We formed in 2013, we're three years young, Fashion Revolution, Fashion Revolution formed in 2013 and um, we are now in 92 countries around the world. We've created 800 events around the world. We're here this week joining hands with Fairtrade India and we're doing events Can India. We've got screenings in Bangalore, Chennai and serious other, a, a series of other events to support a fair and transparent fashion industry. I think we, we all know that fashion is important to us. Um, we all depend on it heavily. But we also know that many of the fashion products are made in very subhuman conditions with, with, with inhuman wages being paid uh, to workers. So the interest of the worker must also be thought of in terms of the wages they get, in terms of the working conditions in which they work. But also what concerns me greatly is industrial pollution. That, as you've seen, the whole of the Ganga has been polluted by polluting industries. Many rivers in India are polluted like that. And India, which is a country which has one of the highest population densities in the world, we cannot afford to keep polluting the air, land, water, because we have to live in the same place and we have to learn to clean this up and therefore in this initiative it's focusing on the fashion industry to say clean up your act we cannot pollute we cannot treat people inhumanly so while we love fashion let it be ethical fashion i'm sure many more will be Who's there? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here today to make lists of who is the most fashionable, who is the best designer, nationally, internationally, or anything. All I know is that many big fashion brands make contracts with certain people to provide certain clothes. Those people then hire subcontractors who then hire sub people at subhuman wages in horrible conditions and brands must take responsibility for the conditions in which their clothes are made. That's all we have said. Um, I, 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 think, I think now that fashion revolution has come to India, it's part the India is joining that global campaign and like putting its voice into that global sphere. Um, and we owe it to our future generations to be more responsible, to be more ethical. And I think we, as an individual, are very powerful. We have a choice. Where do we spend our money? What do we consume? What do we wear? What do we eat? They are all personal choices. And India is being looked at around the world as, as a big consumer these days. So if we start asking questions from brands that are coming into the country, who made my clothes? But you can't hoodwink us either. But we are part of a global campaign. So please tell us, just as you would as any other country, we want to know that people are being treated fairly, that the clothes on my back haven't been done from child labour, that there isn't blood stained clothes behind what I've got. So the concept of, it's a bit like we used to have a concept of blood diamonds. Until we never asked the question, where do those diamonds come from? We never had that phrase, blood diamonds. 
It's the same with your clothes. I don't want to have clothes from a factory where a thousand people died just so I can be fashionable or have fast fashion. I'm wearing today something that's ethically done. Yes, I'm wearing House of Milk. This is a brand that I represent and I'm an ambassador for because I believe in it. It's ethically sourced, it's in India, it's from India, and it's done well. So people can do it well. And I think I'm very proud to be a part of this campaign. I'm glad that we're joining the global campaign. And also, this is today what's happening. It's the first step towards the summit that we're going to have next year, where we're going to get key players, not just from the fashion industry, but from the government, um, from key influencers. We're going to have them all together, and we're going to start that conversation of what is actually happening in India, and really start affecting change at a lobbying level, at a grassroots level. So we're looking forward to that summit that's going to happen next year, and by then the momentum will start, and we'll know more about it. I want to say that there are many brands that do in fact make their clothes very ethically, make their clothes in ways that are humane and ensure that the working conditions are good. We are only interested in targeting those people who are not doing that, who are responsible for tragedies that happen in Dhaka, who are the equivalent of blood diamond traders in the textile industry. Those are the people that we need to address and get them to change their ways of business. Many people are doing the right thing. Yeah. And it's not, I just want to say, it's not anti-fashion. We love fashion. not an anti-fashion campaign. It's <laughs> about saying, come on guys, we can do better. People deserve better. We are all very human. We can do it better and let's get on that on, and making other people's lives better. We don't need to be this greedy monster. And the fashion industry being the second most polluting in the world is shocking. Um, I know that this documentary changed my life. True Cost is a really, it's a, it's a documentary that I would say to everybody, please watch. It really will open up your eyes. Um, and we're not anti-fashion, it's about doing better and getting better. with various brands. At the moment, we have 1,000 brands that have come on board to create dialogue with us. 1,000 brands? 1,000 brands. Since we launched, we've had over 1,000 brands come on board and share information with us. They are listening. The consumer is asking to rebuild the data that then the brand listens to. We are speaking to political leaders. We've held events in Parliament in London. We're speaking to more governments. We want to have that government here, that the dialogue here with our textile minister and our leaders interstate. So, and we are we are forming alliances with various brand ambassadors in the lead up to our summit, which is 24th of April, 2017. That marks the anniversary of the death of those 1,134 people that died. So, in honour in Dhaka. So, in honour of those people, we have Fashion Revolution Day every year, and it's growing year on year. We may have a screening of um, True Cast at one of the fashion weeks. Um, everyone's pretty open to it. So, like you said, we're not anti fashion, we're just saying let's do better. So, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no worries. No. This is not the time to talk about that. But I will say that the demonetization of the demonetization क्योंकि वजह से इसको सब को तकलीफ जरूर हुई है, लेकिन हम सब को ये तकलीफ झेलनी है, क्योंकि जो हो रहा है वो सबके भले के लिए हो रहा है। शुक्रिया।
हमारा सेकेंड नेचर होता है क्योंकि हम जिस इंडस्ट्री में काम करते हैं तो ये बहुत ज़रूरी होता है कि हम लोग फैशन को फॉलो करें और फैशन ट्रेंड्स को भी फॉलो करें जितना हो सके और मैं ये भी मानता हूँ कि जो आप सही समझते हो जिसमें आप कंफर्टेबल फील करते हो करते हो या कॉन्फिडेंट फील करते हो वो आपका खुद का फैशन बन जाता है और उसको आप एक ट्रेंड भी बना सकते हो एक एग्जांपल सेट करके मैं यही कहना चाहूँगा कि मुझे ये कॉज बड़ा ही अच्छा लगा और बड़ा ही नेक लगा क्योंकि ये बहुत ज़रूरी है कि हम जाने कि हमारा हमारे जो कपड़े हैं वो कहाँ से आते हैं और कौन बनाते हैं और किस किस देश से आता है और कौन से फैक्ट्री से आता है कौन सी कंपनी से आता है तो ये बहुत ज़रूरी है जानना कि कि इसकी जड़ कहाँ है और इसका इसका ओरिजिन कहाँ है और किस हालात और किस तरह से ये कपड़े बन रहे हैं तो ये आ, सवाल पूछना बहुत ज़रूरी है हम सब लिए और क्योंकि हम लोग एक ज़िम्मेदार सिटीज़न हैं तो बहुत ज़रूरी बनता है कि हम इस कॉज को थोड़ा सा सीरियसली लें और और इसकी इसकी जानकारी पाएँ इससे पहले आपने ऐसे कुछ सोचा था कि इस तरह का भी कोई इनिशिएटिव हो सकता है या फिर सब नहीं मतलब ये आ, मैं यहाँ हूँ क्योंकि मैं मुझे इस इनिशिएटिव काफ़ी अच्छा लगा काफ़ी नेक लगा और काफ़ी ज़रूरी लगा क्योंकि आ, इसका जड़ ढूँढने बहुत आ, बहुत फ़ायदेमंद है क्योंकि जो हमारे वर्कर्स हैं जो अनेक फैक्ट्रीज में काम करते हैं किन हालातों में काम करते हैं और कैसे काम करते हैं क्या वो अंडरपेड हैं कि वो उनका जो जो वेजेस है क्या वो सही है उनके काम करने के मुकाबले में तो ये सब सवाल सारे सवाल पूछना जरूरी है हमारे लिए वाइट नाम जस्ट हेर टॉक अबाउट फैशन रेवोल्यूशन सो लेट्स टॉक ओनली अबाउट दैट एन ए फ्यू की पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर द वेरी इंडिया रेलिवेंट वी हैव मैसिव वाटर इश्यूज इन इंडिया द टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर वेस्ट 80% of our garment workers are women. There are huge gender empowerment campaigns that we're working on for the future. We are speaking to government leaders. We are producing transparency indexes for brands. And like I said, over a thousand brands have joined us. We are in 92 different countries. We don't want any more industrial textile disasters. We don't want factories collapsing. We have a responsibility and a duty to care for our workers. And if fashion is our second skin, shouldn't we be proud of what we put on our second skin? Shouldn't it come from a source that we can proudly say was made with love and with fair working conditions? Well, I think it's important to raise the awareness, especially in India. Um, It's a great initiative, and I think we all need to be aware of, you know, who did make our clothes, and for Fair Trade Week as well in India this week. Um, so I think it's great that we're supporting this initiative. Thank you. ने बस मैं यही कहूँगा कि ये ये पूछना जरूरी कि हमारे कपड़े कहाँ से आते हैं, और किन हालातों में और कैसे और कौन लोग हैं जो बनाते हैं। और क्या वो खुश हैं अपने काम से और उनको जो वेजेस मिलते हैं क्या उनके रोज़ाना के लिए जो उनके काम जिस तरह से जितना काम करते हैं उसके मुकाबले क्या वो सही है क्या उनके साथ कुछ मतलब प्रॉब्लम्स हो रहे हैं ये सब जाना ज़रूरी है हमारे लिए थैंक यू